Welcome back, one and all, to Oolong Rise in Rimworld, where, unfortunately, we've got a cold snap. That is not good. Uh, we've got some cargo, though, plenty of meat. That is good, I approve. All of this hay, hay is going to uh, going to be gone, unfortunately. But slowly more power is coming through. As soon as the solar panels kick in, that'll be a little bit easier for us as well. Uh, it looks like we're actually starting to store power. That is that is really good. Okay. Well, what we can do next is we're going to get rid of that. Uh, I need to look at building up our power generation. We're going to need it around about here. So that will actually be fine. As long as we remember that this is right there. In fact, I'll place that down just so I can space out the rest of these. Ah, that's a bit of a pain. Hmm. Okay, well, what we can do then, we can have a wire connecting them, I suppose. It isn't so bad to do that. And then we would have these going along the back, like so. And then this just connected right about there. I think that's in the right spot. Yes, it is. Okay, so we are going to, just for the sake of it, hook all of this up together inside and then hook it up there as well. Uh, we're not going to bother with that little bit there, though. That should be fine. I'm just doing that because I'm... <sighs> uh, because that annoys me otherwise if I haven't got more wiring there. I don't know why, but it really does. Right, okay, uh, Muller is actually getting a little bit easier to um, bring along. That is good to see, very good to see. We've got plenty of heating there. Got a little bit of heating here as well. It's currently at 21. Uh, but we don't want it necessarily all the way up at 21. We can, we can handle it being a little bit colder. 18 is fine, I think. Crack temperature of 24. Uh, I mean, 18, 18, well, maybe we could go as high as 20. I think we had it down at 18, though, because we have at least one person who doesn't particularly like the heat. So we'll see how this goes. It's it's generally managing the heat in there. There's a little bit of snow going on right now, which is fine as well. Now then, we are currently building the electric smithy. I don't believe we have an option in terms of what we build that out of. Evelyn is in a poor mood. Why is that, Evelyn? Cramped environment, slept in the cold, feeling bad, wearing worn out apparel. Go change your apparel then. You're allowed to wear whatever you want. Ah, uh, there we are. Just, just lose yourself in cooking. It'll be fine. Uh, right now, I know I lose myself in cooking when I'm in a bad mood. Not necessarily the best thing to do. I'll be honest, when you're in a bad mood, feeling kind of down cooking, eh, you tend to cook things that you wouldn't normally eat or much more of it than you normally would. But still, it is actually fairly effective at taking your mind off things, in my opinion. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's whether you prefer to be feeling a little bit down but generally healthy to eh, not feeling so quite so bad but stuffing your face full of cakes. Because that usually is how that goes with me. Ah, uh, damn my mother for teaching me how to bake properly. I don't think she had any idea what, what, what curse she was burdening me with. Alright, here we go. We'll get that in as well, I think. Grab those. Uh, no, we're fairly good. We've got... Mm, yeah, we've got plenty. Plenty of graves still. Plenty of graves. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Research is going well, though. I am actually really liking that. It's cold snap. Damn. Really unfortunate. We've lost all the hay grass there. Uh, we are keeping this room, though, pretty nice. Wow, that is a lot hotter than it should be. Why is this room so hot? Uh, is something going on that I don't understand? Hmm. No idea. Either way, it's going well. We're going to have plenty of heal root now. I'm a little bit worried about the lack of food, though. Wasn't actually expecting that. Wasn't expecting that at all. Maybe I could do with only half of this as, as heal root, and the other half is maybe vegetables, perhaps? Something along those lines? Because clearly that is going to be a bit of an issue for me. 
There's that. Oh, Colin's are gathering to celebrate Isildur and Evelyn's marriage. Yay! Oh, lovely. Zarak is, you know, just working. Muller, you can just kind of listen in. It's fine. You don't mind. You, you can share in our celebrations. Whilst I scour the map looking for more things to kill, because we haven't got a wedding cake. This is terrible. I, I mean, you know, making a wedding cake out of guts is, is not particularly great either, but at least it'd be something. Ah, oh, this is not so great. Yeah, we, we've we got medicine. What we lack is food. So we're actually going to change this up a little bit over here. Sorry, Evelyn. I, 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 I need to work through your wedding ceremony. It's 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 not not you. It's me. Um, we're going to use a metal tile there and a metal tile here as well. Also, that is already a metal tile. Good. All right. We want a grow zone, and we'll just build it across there. Then we'll expand it out. There we go. And down there as well. Right. Now this grow zone, we want to grow rice, I think. We'll share them up. Though all of these are ready to be harvested. So it's just a matter of waiting for someone to go do the work. Uh, okay, well everyone is chilling out. Everyone's having a happy happy time. That's great. Ah, Ben, you ate the last bit of food. <sighs> you scoundrel, you. Okay, the marriage ceremony for Isildur and Evelyn is finished. Trader? Oh, fantastic. But let's actually have a look at our colonists. Um, let's have a look at needs. Ben, still pretty happy from uh, getting married. Another attended a wedding. Been of my wife, Megan. Low expectations, very comfortable. Bonded animals master. Spacious interior. Jack attended a wedding. Low expectations. Nah, Jack's pretty, pretty happy about pretty much everything. In a shared bedroom, though, and feeling a little bit bad. So you're optimistic and you're feeling bad. Hmm, okay. Feeling bad, slept in the cold, but got a spacious interior, bonded animals, master, optimist, extremely comfortable, opinion of wife, of my wife Evelyn, low expectations, and got married. Even Evelyn is happy right now. That is great. We need more animals, though, because that is fantastic. Being a bonded animals master, that is genuinely amazing. Zarakis is hard, very hard to put in a bad move, thanks for the to the sang wine quality there. Um, moderate amount of pain there, Redneck Gamer, I'm sorry about that. Megan, still pretty happy about getting married. Alvin, eh, everyone seems to be in a fairly good mood, all things still. You're feeling terrible though, that's not so quite so great. Ah, that is quite... <laughs> Oh, I loved her. She was beautiful, but she was hostile, and I, I don't know what she thinks about me anymore, because she's dead. It seems that uh, Rambo doesn't really believe in the afterlife, doesn't really think that um, his ex-lover is watching him. Well, that's fine. You know, takes all sorts. All right, now... What I'd really like to know with the smithy, what can we make? We can make a great bow, short bow, mace, spear, shiv, knife, longsword, and gladius. None of these things are amazing. I was hoping for making armor, I'll be honest. But alright, we'll keep it around. And there's lots of things we could do. We, how, how much steel have we got in there? We don't have any right now. Okay, well, we're waiting on that then. Ah, uh, of course, we're going to be working on this. Research finished! Electric cremation. Build a crematorium, which can vaporize unwanted corpses very well. Let's pause some things down. Um, you know what? We're not going to be looking into any of that just yet. Now, I would like to know who is our best socialite. It is actually Rambo. Okay. Rambo, you haven't got any, any health issues. Are you moving consciousness? No, it's just your scar on your right leg. That's fine. Go forth! Chat! Sell them things. We could sell them an awful lot of limestone blocks if we really wanted to. We could buy some jade. We could buy some plaster. We don't need to. Um, let's have a look. We can sell a lot of these things, actually. Boom out leather. We don't have enough to do anything good with. Uh, we've kind of got enough here. We want to take this down to... There we go. Basically, we want 25. That seems to be the minimal amount that we can use for something. Uh, you know what, I don't mind too much we ha us having that. Yeah, well, there's a short little... Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll actually get it done. We'll take everything to 25. And 
tan away from this. We're trying to make as much money here as we can. Potatoes. No, we're going to keep that. I could buy quite a lot of food off them. That might actually be worth doing. Not selling Belladonna? No. I wouldn't mind getting it. Ah, oh, we haven't got a, a female. Alas, that is a shame. Um, I'm not going to sell Dudley either. Wouldn't mind getting a hen, though. That would actually be, pre be pretty cool. Yeah, sure, we'll buy a hen off you. We'll then have a source of eggs. Uh, we'll also buy all of your components. Don't care about the insect jelly. What about all of your rice? Yeah, okay, we'll take all of that. The meat? No, don't care enough for that at all. Uh, I could get rid of the marble blocks. Don't need any. Could get rid of the granite blocks. Don't want them. Uh, wouldn't mind buying all of your wood, honestly, because we could use that for a number of things, mainly the auto doors. This is a fairly low wood map, so it will be useful for us. Uh, okay, I think that's a reasonable trade. We're giving away a lot of our wealth there, but we are getting quite a lot back, especially with the rice as well. Okay, yep, there we go. And we've now got a hen who is restricted animal area one. And I would like the hen to be trained. Um, can I, I can't train you in any kind of way. Okay, well, fine. That's fine. You can just roam around. It is okay. Um, where are you going? This is where you must stay. Please. Uh, actually, I need to adjust this now, come to think of it. Let's go and just adjust the animal area for this building. I don't want things going in here at all. Uh, here, I will allow you to have half of it, though. Uh, well, actually, no, I'll only allow you to have a very small part of it. Uh, right, let's get this expanded out. It doesn't really matter to allow them access around that building, around our power. But, eh, I may as well. Should they ever learn how to haul, then it'll be useful to have that. Right, expanding the home zone, don't need to really, but we will. Expander at least down here. Now, all the way down here is actually super important to have in the home zone, because everything in here needs to be worked and, and serviced, so... Let's bring that down as well. We'll actually have it go down there too. And bring it along. And this whole area needs to be in here. In fact, let's just bring it out like so. There we go. Now this is not yet ready, but uh, let's just see if everything else can be done first. I would, I would love it if you guys would uh, haul in what needs to be hauled in before anything else. You're actually going out to do a little bit more work, bringing in more steel. That's great. We've got a lot to do down there. Uh, we could actually build a backup battery area down here as well, actually, and that's important enough that I would be willing to get that going right now. Uh, we could build a backup battery area over here, thinking about it. So why don't we go ahead and do that? In fact, whilst we're doing that, we could build out the slate wall there. Uh, do we have enough bricks? I th yes, we do. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and build out our slate block wall. It'll be coming down there. Um, one, two, one, two, one, two. Or four in the middle with a space to walk around, which is actually what I would prefer. That is three. One, two, one, two. There we go. So this will be our little area. We will have a slate block door right there. We'll have quite a, a number of batteries in here. It'll actually su uh, support a fair bit of power. Now what we're going to need is this. Eh, yeah, we can just pop it there, honestly. And then power down to it. And then we're just going to have the batteries set up in there. It'll be fine. There we go, more power being built. Now that is not going to be a very uh, powerful backup system. 
It's only going to have a, a relatively small amount of batteries in it. But it'll be sufficient for our needs. There we go. Once that's all built over, because you, you don't want the batteries to be outside, otherwise it may cause fires when it rains. Now we want some power to be running through here, because ultimately there are a couple of these doors that we really, really need to run... Um, let's have a battery system right there, and then this can... Actually, we can just run the batteries. No, this makes sense, actually. We'll have the battery... Uh, sorry, the uh, switch. I'm saying the battery system because I'm already thinking about batteries. And we'll have that go around and connect up there. But similarly, we want power running all the way down here. Now, the power here we actually want always on. We are going to need that power in order to power these doors, which do need to be fast doors. They're going to be automatic steel doors for us. As for this, we are going to want... Um, we can do anything down there, I guess. Uh, it isn't really that important. But for the sake of aesthetics, we'll have these be three wide still. There we go. But these ones definitely need to be automated. Now, the way that we're going to use sandbags down here, and it's probably worth me going over this, we're going to have sandbags like that. Now, this is going to be a single wall. In fact, I'll pop that wall there. Now, the way that this will work is if there is an obstruction, that is, for example, some slag, some stone chunks, anything that can be walked over but not stood on, once someone starts walking over it, once they get to the end, even if, for example, we've got a bunch of people over here with guns, they can't just hang back behind the wall because they can't stand on the obstruction that is right there. So they will have to continue. They're basically crawling over the sandbags here. And once they get here, the only option they have is to stand out and enter this area where they can be shot. So that's why we use sandbags like this. It prevents people from hiding behind the corners so they can just kind of have high cover of walls. But we are going to give them some additional sandbags to use as support. We're not going to give them many. We don't want them having too much. But that will do. That'll give them a good number of places where they can... Um, just kind of a ray that we can then pop out and grenade from inside on e uh, from the either side here. So that's the way that this is going to work. We're going to have like a long um, area, just a, a corridor with deadfall traps. Just to generally with the raiders, the idea will be to um, just bring their health down. Maybe take one or two people out. Ahead of time, right, we've got a psychic wave, we've got an iguana who's going mad. Is anyone outdoors right now? No, that's fine then. Um, ben? Sure. You can go there. Codemaster? Sure, you can go there as well. Please kill it quickly. Really? There we go. Ben, how badly hurt are you? <sighs> Alright. Ben, go rest until healed. There we are. And Codemaster, you can bring the iguana in for me. Thank you. Right, okay. So it looks like they may be going out to go and grab the last bit of clothing there, which I'm completely fine with. Really hope that we don't get another cold snap like that again, because that was actually quite bad. That was genuinely quite quite painful for us. Okay, now the way that we are going to be using this little area here is we've got a switch. We are going to have batteries arrayed on the other side of the switch so that we flick the switch, it allows the batteries to charge up with power, but once they're full, we'll flick the switch again and no more power will get through. This will be a backup battery um, just room. We're going to have probably one, two, three, four, five. We're going to have ten batteries, so there's going to be a reasonable amount of backup power there. So if for some reason we lose power, for example, a short circuit drains all of the connected batteries, as long as this switch is turned off, these batteries won't be affected by it. So it'll act as a backup for those instances. But obviously if there's an eclipse and we're not quite generating enough power to keep us afloat, our windmills, our wind turbines rather, will help 
but at that point we could discharge these batteries just to top everything up and keep us going. So, Rackets, what's wrong? Really? Oh no, are all of the iguanas gone mad? Oh, that's not very nice. So, Rackets, beat it up. You've got a giant sword. There we go. Bloody iguana. Right, you can carry that in. Thank you. I was worried about that because it did say there was a psychic pulse. And psychic pulses gen uh, generally affect everything. Which is a bit of a shame. Alright, Ben is fully healed. It's great. There's another one out there, isn't there? Yes, there is. Go and kill it, please. That's right. Get out there. Fight. There we go. How badly wounded are you? Uh, you got a couple of claw marks, but it's fine generally. Go ahead and carry that back for me. Thank you very much. We should be good. And they give us a little bit of extra, extra food as well. Oh, damn it. Really, another matter. Uh, ah, why? Okay, now, Boomalope is a different deal. A very different deal. We're going to need people who can actually kill this thing. So, uh, it was Redneck Gamer? Yes. Okay, so Redneck Gamer, Jack, Ben. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll take all of you out. Get out there, please. Go, go, go. We need this thing killed very quickly. We do not want to have to deal with an exploding cow. Which is what I think of the boomalopes. Come on, then. There we go. Everyone, thank you. Alright, this. I want you to put the fire out, please. No. Can you put the fire out? Cannot. Berry boomalope burning. Uh, will no one put the fire out? Apparently not, unless it's within the home zone. That's a little bit silly. Alright. Well, you go and put out the fire, then. There we go. And then you can bring it back in. That is very silly. But oh well. I would have liked it if I could just force uh, them to prioritize a burning um, anything, really. Any kind of fire. Even if it's not within the home zone. If I tell them to put it out, then it's reasonable to assume that I know what I'm doing. Uh, well, actually, that being said... Maybe not, but still, I like I like the game to do what I tell it to do. All right, let's get everything hauled out of there. Quick, smart, please. Now we're still waiting on a lot of blocks. In fact, we're waiting on loads of things. We need a lot of stuff done. Uh, Jack should be the main one to deal with construction, I imagine. We'll see. Now, everything is going okay in there. We are going to have enough steel, so why don't we go ahead and add a long sword to this? Details, you can make it out of steel, plasteel, no, no, no. Just make it out of steel for now. Just want another steel sword, honestly. And in terms of who's going to do this, it will be Ben. Ben... The only person that we're going to allow to do any tailoring or smithing. And smithing is going to come first, which is interesting. Now, in terms of research, we're still not ready for that just yet. However, what I would like to do now is build up either the Granite Electric Crematorium. New. No, we want this to be slate. It's a very big building, though. Eh, it's not... Ideal. You know what? I'm going to build a separate building over here. That is going to be a bit of a pain because I'm going to have to run power to it. Um, I guess I could do something like that over here. But it's going to be a bit of a, a bit annoying. Um, generally speaking, it's going to be better to have this closer to this setup than further away. Actually, we can build the, build the room down here. Now, I know that I'm... I'm and ahhing over this sort of stuff, and uh, generally just making a hodgepodge of buildings, but uh, hopefully it will benefit us in the long run to prioritize the efficiency like this. So we'll build this up. We only need a little bit of room, all things considered. Uh, yeah, that's good. There's one, two, three there, a little room for like a plant pot or a light, and there we go. That'll be good enough. For us for now. Get a metal tile there. We will need power moving across. 
but we can easily do that by doing this and in fact we can use that to hook this up to the main base's power and that actually works out quite well because it's exactly what we wanted to do uh, I will go ahead and add an auto door there because I actually generally prefer power lines to be under something just because they're a little bit more resilient if you do that there we go I'll put a door there too now these ones obviously I don't mind too much there are some mods out there um, that actually allow you to make hardened power lines and uh, that sort of thing that's actually pretty cool I wouldn't mind that at all now I'm going to create a dump zone just down here specifically for metal slag so we'll pop this there and the only thing this is going to accept is steel slag chunk that is literally the only thing I want it taking there we go and it can just be a regular priority we'll rename it as metal scrap there we are and this one will no longer store slag it'll only store blocks and bodies that should be fine there we go hopefully we can get that done fairly quickly we're still working on everything over here which is a little bit of a pain uh, i suspect it's the components that we need isn't it yeah it is right. oh we've got some components over here that we can dig into we're going to need those components for pretty much everything else we're doing as well so we might as well prioritize getting them now we need those ones and we're going to need the ones down there as well there we go all right, how are we doing for food? Uh, we're all right. We're all right. We've got we've got a good, healthy amount of uh, actual veggies and meat. So, well, I say healthy amount. We actually haven't got that much. Um, I would prefer more, if truth be told. Still, it's enough for now to support us. And we'll get the power running across there as well, and that should be good. Uh, we haven't yet built the power conduits down there though unfortunately you can tell the ones that you've built because once they're built they no longer highlight over the top of walls and we're going to need the switch down there as well so we'll just pop that in there as well there we go man it sounds like ben is actually working on the longsword very well thank you very much ben but that is going to be the end of this episode i hope you've enjoyed and are enjoying the series as a whole as always i warmly welcome any feedback you might have in the comments or a like on the video to let me know that you want to see more rumors in the future but until then do take care everyone